Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest Boonex Dolphin. And in order to do that, you want to go to boonex.com, go to Start, scroll to the bottom, find Trial, Download, and download that so you can get the latest version. I already have it, so uh, save a little time. I'm going to skip that part. It does say Trial, but it doesn't expire. It's not limited or anything like that. It's just uh, you get some annoying nag screens in your administration panel. We're going to be using cPanel Web Hosting, cPanel File Manager. It's a SuPHP configured web hosting server. Latest Next Dolphin Zip that you hopefully just downloaded. These are going to be the steps we're going to be performing. And you want to probably fill this out to, so you don't forget. Nice database name, database user, database password, your Dolphin admin username, admin password, and the cron details. We'll fill these in as we go. Uh, so log into cPanel if you haven't already. First thing you want to do is find File Manager and click on that. And you're going to select Web Root Public HTML www. Uh, and show dot hidden files. Click go. I already have it open, which is right here. And since I have Dolphin installed on the main part of my site already, downly.com, I'm going to uh, put this in a subfolder. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Dolphin. To keep it simple, create folder. Which is right there, one dolphin. Double click to go in there. And I'm gonna upload that click upload. I'm gonna upload the zip file from Boonex right there. Open. And it says starting upload. So while that's going, I'm gonna go back to cPanel and I'm gonna set up the database. So click on my SQL databases which will open the screen right here. I'm going to put, I'm going to create a database called One Dolph. Create database. And you can see it did that. So now we're going to hit go back. You want to scroll down on this screen to, until you find add new user. We're going to go One Dolph again. I'm going to create a password. You can use numbers, letters, uppercase, lowercase, hyphens, dot, stars, anything you want. I'm going to keep it simple and call it uh, dolphin dot dolphin dot and then click create user and there's the user. So you want to click go back again. And when you get back to the screen, you want to scroll down until you find Add User to Database. And you want to make sure you select the user we just created and the database we just created and then click Add. On this screen, click All Privileges and click Make Changes. And you can hit Go Back and that should be it for the database. So now what we got is by underscore one Dolph. We're going to copy that to right there the database name. Database user is bi underscore one Dolph again. We're going to put that right there. Password as I said I created was dolphin dot. And that wraps up the creating the database part. So we can actually just close this out because we're done with it. We're going to go back and check on that upload. You can see it says complete so we'll click here to return. And there it is. Click on the zip. Click extract. Extract files. And there we go. Now we want to go into that folder. Select all the Dolphin files and folders. 
And I'm going to drag these out to one dolf. If you want a dolphin in the uh, main part of your site, you drag them out to public HTML. And then I go here. I can get rid of that now because that's where it was extracted. I guess I can delete that. I can also scroll down and delete the zip file. There we go, we're done with that part. Now to start the Dolphin installer, and you should see a screen like this. Scroll to the bottom and click install. And the nice thing about SoupHP is most of this is already set. You don't have to change file and folder permissions. The only one you will need to is FFmpeg, which is located at Flash Modules Global APP FFmpeg EXE. As you can see, it's non executable. So we need to go to our file manager and Flash Modules Global. APP, select ffmpeg.exe, and choose change permissions. Change that to 755 and change. And as you can see, it changed to 755. Come back to the Dolphin installer and click reload. And now it's executable so we can continue on if you have a different setup you may have to set a, a lot of these files and folder permissions nice thing about SuPHP is you don't need to click next most of this will be filled out um, these three right here are for image magic your host may not have them you don't need them so if it says not found don't worry about it as long as you see GD library installed that's all you need. Click next. And as you can see, it found the SQL file. The cPanel, the host name should be localhost. And with cPanel, you won't need the port number, you don't need socket. And this part we get from that file we made. Database name is bi underscore one dolph. So we can copy that right there. Database user is the same. We'll just copy and paste it again. And the database password, dolphin dot. Right there. Paste it into there. Click next. Okay, on this screen you can give yourself a site title. You can change it later. So we're just going to call it dolphin 7.1. Site description, dolphin 7.1. Site email, you should try to use some professional like you uh, at your site.com, not something at gmail.com. This looks a little better. Oops, let's do that. Admin, a lot of people use admin to log in to their dolphin. You can use whatever you want. Make sure you use a Difficult password to guess. I'm just gonna uh, use Dolphin for this example. Click next. And this part you're gonna want to copy this because you'll need it to set up the cron job. So copy that. And paste it into this. Uh, cron details that we have here so we can set that up when the time comes. Come back here, click next. And with SuperHP you can actually skip this part if you want. It's not important because uh, all, a bunch of files and folders are writable with this type of setup anyway. File manager. Select INC directory. Change permissions. Put 555 in there and click change. Come back to the installer, click reload. 
Now it says non-writable. Click next to continue. Now it says well done mate. All you have to do is remove the install directory and you're uh, done with the installer part here. So in order to, to do that we go back to the file manager select install directory click delete are you sure? yes delete it come back to the installer reload the page and there we go there's Dolphin now we want to set up the final step the cron job so you want to go to cPanel select cron jobs if you see something like this you can just punch in star 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 go to that uh, uh, cron job we pasted in here and you want to copy this part CD all the way in there copy that paste that into the command and click add new cron job bottom and you can see it right there and that's all you need to do for the cron now if you come back to Dolph go right to the admin panel by clicking that right there if you want to install modules you can just go modules add and manage just tick and check the ones you want scroll down click install um, one of the sort of important things you might want to check is in tools host tools when that loads up you want to just check these screens make sure everything checks out um, this is the ffmpeg output you should see something in there uh, this is where you'll find your cron jobs scroll down a little bit more and you should find uh, uh, some of the MySQL settings, uh, file cache, deflate module, expires module. Some of these are okay if they say warning because this particular setup just doesn't have it. But uh, MySQL is kind of important. Deflate helps for uh, compressing. And these cache down here. Another sort of info. A uh, helpful page is PHP Info. If you go there, you can find uh, how your particular web host server set up. Sometimes people ask you, well, what's this setting or what's that setting? If you find this core area, you can uh, find things like max execution time, uh, memory limit 160, max input time, post max size. Uh, upload max size things like that it can be helpful uh, for troubleshooting dolphin anyway there it is play around with it have fun this helps some of you out and thanks for watching everybody mm -hmm.